We travel to Gulu district, Ayom village, where Helen Klamas six acres of hired farmland attacked. You need to uh, get a garden first. You make a first cultivation, that is bush clearing, and then you go to the second cultivation, and then you go to the plowering. On one acre of land, she plants one kilogram of sim sim seed. The small white grains are cast in the soil and can germinate within two to three days, depending on the amount of rain. And then after that, you weed. You weed, the sim sim you weed once. Because they are what? Helen spends 60,000 shillings every year per acre to be able to plant her seeds. When the crop is ripe, she harvests about three bags of sim sim per acre and this brings in about 1.5 million shillings from each. In modern agriculture, the sim sim is planted in lines. This is unlike the method Helen has been using. I'm just seeking for the train of what, of, of, of planting the, the sim sim in line. She started out planting her grain on one acre six years ago. She has slowly grown her business. It me most to grow sim sim because the price of the sim sim nowadays the seems to mass market and the price is high. This year, she's expecting to harvest 18 bags of simsim from the six acres. One kilogram of simsim costs 5,000 shillings and each 100 bag is sold at 500,000 shillings. The challenge will come when the, the rains, rains too much again. I may not get the, the good simsim. The, the, the color will change, they will rot. <laughs> Most of the money she gets from this is spent on school fees for the children in her care. 2.5 million for school fees every term. I asked her whether Sim Sim also gets affected by pests like other cereal. I don't spray. It doesn't have any diseases. During harvest, she uses a knife to cut the upper part of the crop. Because it is very difficult when you cut from the ground to hold it, even to, to, hold, to hang it to dry. However, this period is the most trying process in Sim Sim farming. You have to harvest in time to avoid the shells from busting, especially during the hot and dry season. She has to hire at least six hands to help. But if it gets too dry and the shells crack, birds are drawn to it. And there where the birds can come and pick it from the ground. The problem is the monkeys. Yeah, but we don't have monkeys here. After harvesting the Sim Sim, makeshift stands made of wood are erected a few inches above the ground and the sim sim is placed here to dry. After three weeks uh, the small bundles are exposed to the sunshine and they will dry enough then they bring tarplanes and lay, lay them all over this place after that they beat one by one then what follows is winnowing and then they pack uh, the sim sim seeds for sale. The men go about their work very carefully using ropes to ensure that the wind does not easily blow them away. Klama has big plans for the future. I'm planning if I can get 10 acres. Uh, if I can get 10 acres for what, for, 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 for doing my farming business. And I'm also planning to get the oxygen and ox plow. Sim Sim is consumed raw by some people and the market in other regions is always readily available. The money is helping me. I'm started putting the structure of the accommodation of my, my, for my family. And since it does not easily go bad, it is easy to store as one waits for the best prices. Helen Klama does not own the biggest Sim Sim farm, but her story is a lesson that you can start small and grow big. Sudil Biarhanga, NTV.